If you spend a bit of time within assemblies, you've most likely worked with configurations. These allow you to change the suppression state of different features and components, as well as changing dimensions. And if I switch back and forth between these two, SolidWorks will rebuild the model. Now, if instead I want to change how different components are displayed, for example, if I want to change the hide show state, the display style, or the transparency without having to switch over configurations, I can create a new display state. And one of the key benefits of display states is that you don't have to rebuild your assembly to switch over to a new display state. So I'll go ahead and right click on that display state one and add in a new display state. If I want, I can also go into the properties and rename this. So now if I'm in the active display state, I can come in and possibly change the display style, make this wireframe, for example. Or remove the shaded with edges and make it just shaded. And then if I switch back and forth between the two display states, you'll notice the difference. I can also come in and hide out certain components. So in this case, the difference between the default and the second configuration is that those internal components are suppressed. I could instead create a display state where those are hidden. So if I choose that display state 2, go ahead and change these back to the default. And I can hide out the PCB. The case fan, and I could also hide out the fasteners if I want. And so I have the same effect as that second configuration, but SolidWorks doesn't have to rebuild, so it's able to switch back and forth between these very quickly. Using display states is particularly useful in larger assemblies. For example, in this assembly, I could create out a new display state, and I could choose to hide out some of the external components, which makes it a little bit easier to work on the assembly on the inside. And then I can quickly change back to the other display state. There's also an option that allows you to link display states to configurations. And this is useful if you need your other configuration to look entirely different than another configuration. So if I have a different feature set or different dimensions within the second configuration, and I also want to change colors within the configuration, I'd want to use the link display state to configurations. And if you're clicking back and forth between the two, it'll create several new display states, uh, some of which are redundant, so you can right click in and say purge redundant, and it'll remove those out. Also one thing to note is that if you're changing, or if you try to change the color of a face, for example, within the display state. If you're applying this at the part level, this will apply to the display states within the part. So I would have to add a second display state within the part if I wanted to change the color of this face, for example. If, however, I want to change the color at the component level, that'll change this entire set of two bodies. I can specify that to certain display states, and it'll apply to those. Lastly, if you use the isolate command by right-clicking and choosing isolate, you can also save a new display state. And if you want to quickly access your display states, you can right click in on the display pane and choose out 
a different display state.